like an earthquake Hey guys, Snowman Alice here, bringing you a little bit of a different video. Uh, this one's how to make pretty much professional looking uh, thumbnails for the most part. And yeah, it's a pretty simple process, it's pretty easy, and it uses PowerPoint, not GIMP. And GIMP is insanely complicated, so I'm hopefully saving you guys a lot here. So there's YouTube, that's not the tab I'm looking for. So I would recommend using Google Chrome, and this ad is everywhere. Um, so in Google Chrome, it just helps because the download is a little bit better and I'll explain that in a minute. So on this website there's wallpapers and everywhere you see a green or a gray character is a character you can put into the um, picture. So what I'm going to be doing is making a thumbnail for a Hunger Games one. So let's find one. I think there's a Hunger Games one in here actually. Yeah I've done it before so I know there is. Right about here somewhere. I know it's here. Hold on. I gotta find- where is it? There it is. Okay. This one's called Hunger. This one's even called Hunger Games. So now what you do is you type in the name, and it is cap sensitive, so you have to get it pretty much perfect. And if you don't get it perfect, I'll show you what happens. Right there, that's what happened. Or not? Well, it'll load, but it'll never stop loading because you got it wrong. So if I did like snubba, ubba it's just gonna say loading and loading, and it's not gonna stop loading unless that was an actual person. So yeah. So then we're gonna do that, and then find my character. And once it does that, now it's going to say recommended, but you're going to actually choose 1920 by 1080 just for the sake of the best quality. It's still going to say highlighted, but once you click that and another picture shows up, that's how you know that it's um working right. So then what you're going to do is it actually is a little bit bigger than it says, so we have to fix that up a little bit, but not really. So then once it downloads, which is pretty much instant, you're going to just pop it on desktop. And then you're going to go to this one, which is called textcraft.net, and all these links will be in the description. So since I'm doing a Hunger Games one, I'm going to make this one called Hunger Games, and hit create, and then I'm going to download it, and then it should pop up right down there. Once it's done, drag and drop, and I'm going to do one more to show the episode. So then I'm going to do number one. So find the number thing, number one, and then download that, wait for it to finish, and dunk. Okay, so now we got our three key things. Now what we're going to do is just close out of those tabs because we don't need them anymore. But um, actually, hold on, let me just show you one thing. You can also just go to Google if you don't like any of those pictures. Go to Google. Go to Images. And search whatever you want. Uh, Minecraft backgrounds, colorful backgrounds, whatever. Um, so yeah, so then what we're going to do is go into PowerPoint. I might have a little bit older PowerPoint than yours, but it's still it all works the same. Um, so you're going to click right here. And click on this shady border and then click delete. Click here, click the shady border, delete. Now you can't do file open because it won't work because it's not in the right uh, format for PowerPoint. So you got to do insert picture from file, go to your desktop where it should be, and do this. Now it's going to come out as a huge picture, okay? And you're going to want to shrink it down. The only reason we start so huge is because it gives us a better um, looking picture in the end. Drag this over here. And you're going to want to leave some space at the top of white because PowerPoint is a square and YouTube isn't. And since we have a lot of sky, we can go up a lot farther. But if you didn't have much space, it'd probably be like right around there. Um, but since we have so much sky, we're just going to make sure there's no white at all and bring it up to like right there. Now what we're going to do is insert our other picture, which was the Hunger Games. So actually, I like where that is right there, Hunger Games, and then insert the number one. Oops, insert, picture, from file, number one, drag and drop this over here, and yeah, that's basically it, you can do whatever thing, whatever, bleh, whatever else you want to it, but that's all I'm going to do to it, and then file, save as, when you hit this d drop down arrow, yours might go up to like where the save as and just all these different types, just try and find the JPEG in file interchange format. And then name it what you want. I'm going to name it HG1 for Hunger Games 1. And then save it to my desktop. And then when this comes up, you want it to be current slide only because it turns into a picture instead of a PowerPoint document. Then when you click save, since you didn't save it as a presentation, it's going to ask you this. Just click no. The picture is still there. 
So then you're going to go to your YouTube browser and go to your channel or your video manager. Assuming you have um, custom thumbnails unlocked. And I'm going to find Hunger Games 1, wherever it is. This might be an older video, I can't remember. There it is. That's No, that's Hide and Seek. Hide and Seek. Hunger Games. Where are you, Hunger Games? Don't hide. Hunger Games is hiding from me. Um. No. Where is Hunger Games numero uno? Uh, I guess I'll be right back when I find it. I might have passed over and just missed it, but I will be right back. Okay, I finally found it. I don't know why I couldn't find it, but I'm going to go to this video, and I'm going to go to Info and Settings. And I'm going to hit Change Image and find the image I was using. So I named it HG1, and then it's going to come out as a JPEG. And you're going to select it and save changes. The thumbnail changes aren't immediate. Um, it doesn't always work, but it did that time. And it might not show up in your actual video section for a while, so I'm going to use Google Chrome to show it. Um, how it worked. And I have changed a couple to ones along those lines. So if you see videos that um, resemble the same like type of thing, that's why. So I'm going to go to videos. And you'll see there's an, a one I made before this video. And here is the one, nope, a different one, I made during this video. If I can't find it again, I'm going to feel quite was those on the right there it is hunger games episode one that's a pretty nice thumbnail i think it looks pretty professional um i don't know i think you'd agree but um yeah i hope you guys enjoyed i hope you guys can make your own thumbnails and uh, i will see you next time uh peace out like subscribe and comment